What's up guys, today we're taking a look at the Arteryx Acrux LT boot. I've been wearing this boot for a couple months now, using it in some light mountaineering. I tried it out with my Black Diamond contact strap crampons. It worked really well with them, as well as in the snow and water. The boots have a high collar on them and are Gore-Tex lined. That really helps keep the water out and the snow out and just keep your feet dry. There's not a lot of insulation in these boots, so your feet can get cold. These boots are very stiff. They have a three millimeter carbon plate in the shank. That offers a lot of stiffness from toe to heel and makes these a really great boot to use with crampons or for towing in. I also like using them with snowshoes. They have a nice medium to soft grip on the sole. It's a Vibram sole with an open lug pattern that just helps it shed mud and snow a lot easier. There is some extra reinforcement around the toe as well as around the sides of the boot. The lacing starts all the way down at the toe which allows you to dial in that fit really well. Choose webbing around the toe and then moves up into hooks and locking D-rings up around the ankle for more support. I've been using these a lot to hike around here in Utah. I like using them with crampons as well. These are designed to be used with semi-automatic crampons. I've just got some strap crampons here that I'm using to show you how easy they go on. Just pull them over the heel there and you just tighten the straps down. And because that shank is so stiff, these are a great option to use with crampons. And getting out, the boots are a nice slim profile, so they just slide right out of the crampon as well. Aesthetically, I really like the look of these boots. I think that Vibram sole, the lug pattern, as well as the branding and materials used on the boots just look really good. You can see the reinforced heel on the back here, just knowing how protected it is, as well as the D-ring here. Everything on these boots just feel premium. We have a full review of these boots over at our website. I'll leave a link to that below. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We review a lot of outdoor gear. If you like that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel.